Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibaya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. You ready to fight? Ready. Go well, ahead. great to have you with us tonight from Bell Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And per capita, these people make as much noise for mixed martial arts as any fan base in the world. And obviously, a very exciting atmosphere for the fighters in which to come. It's a great environment for the fighters. It's a great experience for the fans. There aren't many places in the world that fighters love to compete in more. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Usman's pass attempt, denied. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom, he's doing it here, nice punch. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't wanna play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Close guard. Good work from the top here by Kamaru Usman. Nice hammer fist. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt man. Oh, beautiful, lovely change. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to, to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Usman's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Smart. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, side control now. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. The ground and pound has been there all night. Ten seconds to go in the round. Round two next. Oh, stop. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. Take a seat. Breathe. Deep breath. Breathe. Into that nose. Out to that neck. All right. Good. Great round. All your All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. ready. All right, round two. A lot of power on display from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. And they separate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kamaru Usman. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Usman. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware there's danger when you're standing at the top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch the up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hips when he goes to land the strike. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Sound strike on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ground and pound strike is true. Back mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the ground and pound strike here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Ground and pound strike there now. That's it. That's it. He's not going to be able to continue. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Able to land the single ground strike there. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Very nice leg kick there by Kamaru Usman. Right hand punch with the clinch. Nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. single collar tie there. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Throws the right hand there. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamaru Lusen. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. And he landed the right hand there. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. 
great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And he's back up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, if you like no. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Excellent land by him there with the oh. He's got him right here. Oh! All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Under a minute now to go. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, close guard now. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Usman. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Let's go. That was lightning here. fast, that right hand. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass to half or eventually get the full guard, full mount, sorry. Well, as usual, oh, suffocating work from the top here by Kamaru Usman. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to make Oh! He needs to start looking to finish down because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right hand punch to the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big ball. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Got clip with the right hand. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the gun. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Usman. Solid strike on the ground.
All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Both fighters get up now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt. Two thousand him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's having his way with him here. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great grounding pound. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands flush with that right hand. Pretty good right hand. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Good, solid strike on the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 15 seconds to go. Now connects with a right. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. See, bud, listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stand-up battle, I want you to look for the takedown, okay? You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh! Just misses with the left hook. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Takedown defense holds up. Right punches there. Oh, shot to the body. That is how you scramble, folks. Engages 
in the single collar tie. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Usman. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty big. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Oh, nice! He might get a finish here! Oh, man, that was slick. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Now Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You got a hip escape. You got to do something to get you out of the move. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any outs when he's on top of you. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Under two minutes now with which to work. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Usman. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kamaru Usman. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Usman. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom.
the official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Bars Kamada. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stand and cheer. We have a new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And what an effort from the number one contender and challenger here tonight to outlast the champion over 25 hard minutes. And now the focus shifts to this man as the welterweight division enters a new...